Does Rogaine make you look old or does it do anything to affect your collagen production? That's what this video is all about. So if you're interested in hearing about this or you just want to hear my own story about aging and Rogaine, stay tuned. This video is for you. My name is Helen and welcome to the Shrimpy Miggy channel. As you guys know, I'm going on, or maybe you don't if you're new, welcome here. I'm going on two years of using Rogaine. So I am now, my next birthday will be my 44th birthday. So I guess that means I'm 43 right now. Getting up in age there. Uh, so I guess I started then when I was about 41 years old. So I'll just give you guys a sort of overview of what I think my skin looks like, sort of like from then till now and whether Rogaine has aged me and whether you should be concerned about aging due to Rogaine. But the very short answer is no, you shouldn't be concerned about it. Listen to my story and then we're gonna talk a little bit about some of what actual visit, because as you guys know, I am not a doctor. Do not take all your medical advice from YouTubers. Uh, we're gonna delve into some information that actual doctors have published on Online and you can look at those too. I'll be sure to link up the studies that uh, and the um, posts that I'm quoting from down below in the description so you can go ahead and read it yourself. Yeah, let's have a seat and let's talk about uh, whether I feel I've aged from using Rogaine or not and uh, what the study is, what actual physicians and hair loss specialists doctors say about using Rogaine and or minoxidil and whether that does anything to your collagen or makes you look old or adds bags to your eyes. Well, I don't know, whatever bad stuff you're imagining. Does it really happen or not? Let's get into it. So as mentioned, I started using Rogaine about two years ago now and it did, has done a really wonderful job in filling in the sort of bald spot that I had that was back there and the part. So yes, great, but what has it done to my face, honeys? It hasn't, I tell people like it's not aging and then they're like, yeah, but is it aging? I'll, t I'll say like, oh, my experience was that, you know, I started a couple years ago and I think I look okay for my age and they like never go like, yeah, you do. They're just like, yeah, but can you please let me know whether it's aging or not? So no comment. Okay. I do not want to comment. Why? <laughs> Why? No comment. The short answer is no. I don't feel like it's really aged me at all. I don't. I'll come a little closer. I don't really struggle. Luckily, I think probably due to my heritage, I don't struggle too much with crow's feet or a lot of bags. You know, these are not things I've done to prevent them. I think that this is mostly a genetic thing because I'm a postmenopausal woman right now. I went into menopause a number of years ago as part of my treatment. Um, so, you know, my skin theoretically doesn't have the estrogen and the other hormones that would make you look youthful. So theoretically, I think I should be looking worse than I do. I think I'm looking pretty good. I don't have any Botox or fillers in. One area though that I do have is like, I have these 11s that they call them here, these creases, and I can never really do much about them other than try and hide them with makeup or get Botox, which I'm not opposed to, just haven't done lately. But I don't think I look any older than I did at 41 before I started, if that makes sense. So two years ago, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely aging. I think between 40 and 50 is often when women start to go through menopause or go through menopause and it ages them. And so I don't think I'm gonna be any different. I'm probably gonna look different at 50 than I do now, but I don't feel like it's accelerated any collagen loss. I feel like this is pretty much what I would look like whether I started it or not. You can of course go back. I've been making YouTube videos and you can go back to my very earliest ones. And if you've never done that, what you've got to do is look at someone's videos and then there's like a little sort button. So you want to press that sort button and then you can look at the oldest you can arrange it like that and it will just bring up my older videos but of course I had a different camera the resolution was much lower this one picks up a lot more texture in my skin and stuff like that but I don't I really don't feel like it's made a huge change which is great and that's great news for you too but I get it a lot of you are not in your 40s you're in your 20s and this is a major concern you don't want to start using Rogaine or Minoxidil and looking like an old lady that's completely understandable like do we really want aging and collagen loss and bags in our eyes and crow's feet on top of hair loss of course not. Of course we don't. What I did is I did some research because I've been telling people, no, in my experience it doesn't, but that's just my experience. What do actual doctors have to say about it? So let's delve in now into some of what they say online. I found some good sources that are reputable. There are some other YouTubers here who talk about their own experience. There is a guy called Kevin Mann. I've mentioned him. He's sort of the male, he's not the male corollary of what I do, but he talks about men's hair loss issues. He talks about finasteride and minoxidil. And I've been watching some of his content and enjoying it lately. He does delve into one of the myths of using Rogaine and minoxidil. And he speaks at length. He even has a timestamp of it. So I'll go ahead and link his video down below in my description box too if you wanna watch that. In his, dis in his description box, he has a time link of talking about collagen and minoxidil. So you can listen to what he has to say, but it's gonna be pretty much what I'm gonna say here, which is that it's been pretty well studied in people, uh, minoxidil and Rogaine that is, and a lot of people use it and it doesn't seem to be a side effect that is notable 
Certainly not in my experience personally, but, and also not in my experience from women that I hear from. Nobody really talks about that as something that's bothering them or something that happened to them. Does that mean it's never happened? No, but it's hard to pull these things apart because a lot of women who are experiencing hair loss are also kind of aging, possibly at the same time, like if you're in your 40s, if you're in your 50s, that is a time of life where you are gonna start to see new wrinkles and crow's feet and bags under your eyes. I've never heard yet of women who are in their 20s complaining about it. And the other thing to understand is that minoxidil mostly goes to your scalp. It's not something that you're rubbing all on your face. And when it goes into your system, it's not that strong of a topical that it would enter and affect your collagen production all over your body. But let's get into what the actual doctors say. Enough of me just sort of talking off the cuff. Okay, so one of the best resources I found on this was from the Donovan Hair Clinic, which is a legitimate hair clinic run by a physician here actually in British Columbia in Canada. Physician here, Dr. Jeff Donovan, is a Canadian US board certified dermatologist specializing exclusively in hair loss. So this is a hair loss doctor, Dr. Jeff Donovan. And so I will put this up here on the screen so you guys can follow along. This is a recent thing that he posted, May 25th, 2019. So this is a little over a year old at this point. Point. Minoxidil probably does affect collagen synthesis, dun dun dun, which is opposite of what I said, in the scalp is what he's saying. The problem with the unsubstantiated claims on the internet is that nobody's dared to offer the potential explanation that the minoxidil induced reduction in collagen synthesis might actually be a good thing. So here he's got this like image and I will be the first person to say, I don't really understand what I'm looking at, not being any kind of a science person. The bottom line is if you've got androgenetic alopecia and fibrosis, actually it might be a good thing because you may have extra collagen in your follicles and the Rogaine and minoxidil will help to slow that down. So it actually can be a helpful process, but they don't really understand that. That's my takeaway from this article, but I want you to listen to what else he says about it. It's certainly premature to jump to conclusions that minoxidil promotes facial aging, according to him. If it does, it's rare. He says, likely because not enough minoxidil reaches the facial skin. And my office phone rings off the hook with people terrified that their minoxidil is causing their hair shedding or growing hair in the wrong spots, but we've never received a call about facial aging concerns. And that gels with what I hear from people. I get hair loss shedding questions every day in my Instagram. Every, every single day, somebody will DM me worried about their shedding that comes with Rogaine. Nobody has mentioned aging yet. That may change, but just I've never heard that yet. And apparently this doctor, Dr. Donovan, has not had that happen to him so far yet either. Minoxidil probably does affect collagen and that's most likely a really wonderful thing rather than a bad thing because it suppresses the formation of more and more scar tissue around hairs that ultimately destroy stem cells. Patients worried about the small unproven risk of facial aging should of course not use the product. So there you go. If you really are worried about it, he's just saying there are just no studies proving that it hasn't, but there are no studies that, proving that, it, that have proven that it has caused aging. I can tell you if that's one of your concerns, if it were me, it wouldn't bother me in the least. I, <laughs> facing hair loss versus a little bit of aging, which is not reversible, but certainly a treatable condition. For me, the ben possible benefit of using Rogaine would far outweigh the unproven, unsubstantiated risk of that. Although this doctor is saying something a little different. So, you know, again, follow your own dermatologist and physician's advice. Just wanted to tell you guys straight up about what I think about it, what I've learned about it. This doctor said, Says, don't worry about it so much. I found another source and let me find that as well. So I found another source that says there are no human studies demonstrating that minoxidil causes collagen depletion or wrinkles as a side effect. So I've discussed this already. And there are many studies of minoxidil effects on humans. Even though there are anecdotal reports online stating this, minoxidil has been used for over 25 years and there are no real complaints or published reports in clinical practice with patients. So there you go. There are some, hopefully some different sides of the story, helping you to maybe understand the mechanism a bit of possibly why this is such a widely circulated, I'm gonna say claim or rumor at this point, because there's certainly no studies to back up the specific claim of aging and wrinkles. And why I personally feel that it's fine to use it for me, you know, you know my thoughts on the matter, but definitely if something different has happened for you, go ahead and let us know down below in the comments. I would never push this drug on anybody. I use it by choice. I'm having a really great effect, but of course your results may vary. And definitely if you're struggling with hair loss and you have questions like this, the first line of defense now that you've heard me say my spiel is um, go get it checked out. The early you start to deal with hair loss and figure out what's at the root of it and it may be something simple the better off you will be i i promise you that so many people actually regret putting it off they wait one year two years and then they're like ugh, why didn't i get on top of this sooner so definitely look into it all right everybody i hope this was helpful thanks so much for joining me here today 
and we will see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I almost forgot to say that. Bye.